Standing at Caramore, part of Tottenham, a white horse in the field beside the monument. From the yard of the stables beyond, you can hear hooves and concrete. As we turn to walk to the next stone, a horse whinnies from the stable. It's a primal sound, sexual and unsettling. It's further attested by the presence of cut marks and severed of the unburnt bones which indicate that the bodies of the dead were dismembered before they were placed in it. Horrocks talking about origins, people who move across the map of Europe. Who are we? Amy Clamp's procession of cannons. Sooner or later, every track becomes a funeral procession. The mother curtained in intensive care, the scene the mind leaves blank. Fleeing instead towards scenes of transhumance. They are called NWHG in archaeological jargon, Northwest Hunter Galleries, acronyms in their own landscape, DNA bone language, leg bed cores. We know something of their stomach contents, diseases, whether they were male or female, but otherwise they are as remote. Constellations. The petrol station lights. Petrol Young station women lights. drift on coasts of the 20th century. Of the 20th century. Of the 20th century. It's a 6 a.m. Dublin train next morning. I'm trying to make sense of what Parag has said. Everybody's tired. The young Latvian man looks at me. He laughs softly at something on his phone. Three American girls pass a pure vegetation of Romeo and Juliet between them. The black girl across the aisle sleeps and mutters something to her sleep. Everybody's on the move. Then, now, then. As if it didn't already happen, as if it didn't happen, I left these after images, these after images, they could dream themselves. Dream themselves. Dream themselves. I'd sleep myself, but I'm afraid I'd dream of concrete walls as Barry Terrain. Migrants walking in the desert at night, columns of the drowned marching up Aegean beaches. The policeman's face comes to mind. We've been working on a film about migrant workers and we went to talk to the gangmaster licensing authority. The policeman's telling us how many buses are sent east to pick up the alcohol as they mentally ill and bring them here as workers or modern slaves as he calls them. He says the smugglers refer to them as horses as part of the process of dehumanizing them. Argued that both cremation and dismemberment and possible defleshing may have been physical expressions of similar objectives relating to the excarnation and removal of flesh from the bodies of the Stopped on the road margins, on the road margins. rusted, worn out vehicles, worn out vehicles, cracked windscreens, cracked with seat, worn to the sand, worn to the sand. Everyone's pale and tired, pale and tired. A transaction, a transaction, a transaction. It's further attested by the presence of cut marks on several of the unburnt bones. Parag says that the patterns of settlement slow down and come to a halt when we reach the edge of the continent. There's a lull, an interregnum. You wonder what held them there. Line of lorries, there's a line of on edge road, leading into 
The westward trekking transhumans, once only, of a people who, in losing everything they had, lost even the names they went by. Children's bodies washed ashore, people caged at the channel ports, they're hanging onto the undersides of lorries, always moving west, shuffling carriages coming. Which indicate that the bodies of the dead were dismembered before they were placed in the tomb. People are trapped in history. History is trapped in them. The compass point of stone which guides the softest light at the centre of the was worn smooth from hands touching it over centuries, over millennia. I put my hand on top of it. Something unexpected happens. I feel an intimacy, contact. Not just touched in some way, taken by the hand. Easy to make too much of it. I look at Brian, he felt it as well. The others carry on talking. A few minutes later, four of us are standing against the reconstructed entrance. We're talking funeral rites, wakes, the dead on the way from a day soul's night. Hand and palm, there's still the palm to palm feeling I got when I touched the stone. Processing the bodies and thereby assisting the dead to transcend. Yet the aftermath of themselves pale, exhausted, pale, exhausted, A few days later, the group walk in the mountain. I'm in the city and Maria sending back photographs and reclining my Calicavera. It's raining on the mountain. The photo was like last transmissions from a lost expedition. People fade in and out of the mist, the lens fogged up. Only the stones of the three thieves with clear cut outlines. A waypost to which the stars are tethered by calculus. They're walking the quartz rocks of the Calcanavers, carrying their dead. Figures on the hilltop made distant by the mist. Figures on the roadside made distant. I look for the images I took of the white horse at the very start, but they seem to have a real story. Everyone's going home. Of a people who, in losing everything they had, lost even the names they went by.